What is up everybody? Chris, Jack, and Jack from Team Aquascape. Today we are at an enormous, gorgeous aqua blue pond. What are we doing? Clean outs. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Jack and I have been here before, but this Jack has not. What do you think so far? It's amazing, yeah. Loving the aqua blues. The whole feature wrapping around the house is amazing. cut out for us today. We're gonna do a clean out and maybe at some point in the video we'll kick over to DK and Juan and they can, uh, what are they doing? Oh yeah, clean out. And they can show you, they're also out doing clean outs. It's that time of year, let's get rolling. So we started draining the pond, and that's always one of the first steps that we do is just get all that water out so that we can get in there and pick all the debris. As you can see behind me, there is an enormous amount of algae and debris in this pond. The water was crystal, crystal clear. They do run most of it all winter long, but there's still a significant portion of algae. So this is gonna be a great before and after project, really showing the importance of a clean out, but also showing the transformation that one day out here will make. We've got both jacks down here, picking through a lot of the debris and the algae once we get most of that stuff picked, we'll start up the pressure washer and one of us will start pressure washing while the rest of us start going through and continuing to pick. Also, while we're out here, we found a couple spots where some of these rocks had sunk. It's extremely, extremely wet back here. This is a very low-lying backyard, so we have to repair a couple of these edges, but we'll work on that at the end of the day. The challenge that we're running into is that we only have five holding tanks here and the system is much larger than that. So what we decided to do is focus on this middle section of stream down here. Go ahead and get this clean then we will use the water from up there to help rinse but also fill this area to save as much of that water as possible there's also an enormous reservoir over there this is a rainwater harvest system so there's an enormous reservoir over there that we'll be able to use in case we need to rinse or run out of some of our host water i don't think it'll be a problem the reason for that rainwater harvest system is to make this thing as sustainable as possible but to also manage a lot of the stormwater that happens being that this is such a low-lying property but we are going to go ahead and continue to pick all this stuff get it all out of here and I can't wait for you guys to see the transformation later on in the video We're out here and Chris unfortunately left us. He ran to the store to grab some supplies that we needed. We found out that this pond had a leak and you're gonna get that at springtime. Uh, things settle sometimes and we're just going through all the edges and making sure that all the edges are nice and clean and above water line. And unfortunately on this one, we found a few that are not above water and that are leaking. So he ran to the store, grabbed some supplies and some base material uh, to throw under here because we don't have a whole lot of um, soil to work with out here. And But I just wanted to touch base with you guys on what we're doing and you guys always want to check for leaks before you guys start cleaning out your pond it's a lot easier instead of starting everything up getting everything nice and clean and then finding out that the pond leaks and then you have to kind of tear things apart yeah it's jack and chris dk and udi coming at you we're out here at the pond guy's house we're going to do his clean out and his next door neighbors mike and jen who we built their pond for last year super excited to get them up and running for the season so they can get back to living that aquascape lifestyle let's get rolling So one of the things that we like to do every time we get out to one of our clean outs is we always set up an extra tank or two, get some garden hoses going in it. That's the first thing Udi and I do. This becomes a clinch for us at the end of the clean out where we can dump fresh water right back into the pond. We're not sitting waiting for hoses to fill up. Or if we need the extra water to rinse, we've got that. So we got two tanks over here. We got the old pond water that we're gonna use to pre-rinse. Then Udi's gonna jump in and start power washing. Then we got two tanks over at Mike and Jen's filling up with fresh water. And then we'll take some of the water out of that pond to fill the pond guy's pond and get the fish back in it. So let's go.
today was a success for Udi and I. We knocked out Greg and Carlos cling out, Jen and Mike's cling out, record time. Got all the fish back in it. We even replaced some lights over there at Greg's. Did a few enhancements over here at Mike and Jen's. Did a biofalls beautification, totally transformed it. Completely hid the entire biofalls. So with that being said, back to you, Jack and Chris. Let us know what you guys got. We got done, Chris came through and power washed the bottom section of this pond. Let me flip the camera around and you can see that right now we are starting to rinse down. So what we like to do is, you can see back behind Jack, we'll set a garden hose up back behind of where we're rinsing. Kind of flush and kind of keep all that suspended solids up in the water column. As you can see right there, it's all nice and dirty. And then we'll come through with our fire hose nozzle that's connected to a clean out pump. And that tank sitting all the way up there and it's going to come through, it's going to flush all that debris out of here, making that water nice and clear. So we have a clean out pump down at the bottom of the snorkel. Right in this area is uh, the other half of our wetland and the other half is sitting up in the top portion of that pond that we'll get to in a little bit. But yeah, the pump sits down there. We'll have a, we'll have a garden hose sitting back there and then we'll have a, the fire hose nozzle pushing all that debris and sediment all down into the clean out pump. So it comes out nice and clear. We're all cleaned up. We ran into a little bit of a snafu today. What'd you do? We uh, found out that one of the spigots must have froze over winter and cracked on the inside of the house. One of the spigots that we were depending on using to help us clean this pond efficiently and quickly simply wasn't there today. So what we opted to do was what? Use the other water in the tanks? Yeah, so on this project, we brought six tanks with, and so we used that water instead of putting it back in the pond, we ended up using that to rinse down, and that helped flush all the debris out of the pond. It was super filthy. As you I saw there was a ton of algae everywhere and just kind of power wash and everything. It just made everything a lot more dirtier. So it was nice to have that fire was nozzle to push everything out. Yeah. So unfortunately, we still have to wait for the pond to fill, but you can see all the algae is now off of the rocks. There's still the algae stain, which unfortunately is always going to be there. It's just kind of part of the game. But when it's full, you don't even pay attention to the stains on the rocks, but we are filling it now. So what we're going to do is we are going to let the garden hose go. Homeowners will continue to fill this thing up. I'll be back in the morning to go ahead and show you the beauty of the finished product how really really clean it is and the transformation that happened today so hang loose 